Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Sarasdor County 2 electric bike rack right here on our 2021 Toyota Tacoma. So the Door County is a unique bike rack in that it can raise and lower the bike rack itself using a seven-way connection on your Toyota Tacoma. So if you have extra heavy bikes and you're not a fan of lifting them up onto other hitch mounted bike racks or you can't lift them into your truck bed or your ladder rack, this might be helpful for you. So we'll take a look at some of the features of this bike rack, but focus on how it works with a Tacoma just to see if it's the right fit for you, your bicycles and your truck. So this has a 60 pound weight capacity and looking at the way our bike is mounted, we have it mounted down at three points. So we have one and two wheel straps, just holding down our wheels. Then we have a frame mount right over here. So that frame mount is adjustable just so you can find the best fit on your electric bike or really any other bike. If you have, let's say a step through bike, you don't have to use a frame adapter bar because then you can just adhere to the seat post or pretty much any part of the frame you can. One of the features you can use is the tilt away feature. So you to do that, you have to first unlock it by just pressing this knob and rotating. Then you can step on this lever. Now remember, this is gonna drop down very quickly. So be mindful if you do have two bikes, you just have to brace yourself and make sure you don't get hit. So I'm holding the bike with one hand, stepping down on this lever, and then it's pretty heavy, but it drops down. And why would you tilt your bike rack away? Well, if you have your bikes as well as your bike rack on your vehicle, you'll want to know if you can open your tailgate. So here on our Tacoma, notice how our tailgate comes down almost all the way until it hits the bike rack right over there. So still a good enough or a good amount of clearance. You can still access whatever's in your truck bed, but it would probably be easier just to reach in your, to your truck bed from the side than having to oh, tilt your bike rack away and lower your tailgate. It's also on the heavy side to lower this, and then you're gonna have to push all that weight back up before it snaps into place. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, you might just wanna consider not tilting it away and just take your bikes off if you do wanna lower your tailgate. So I'm actually ready to take our bike off. So let's lower our bike rack. We have a panel right over here, and we're gonna use that panel and press the down button in order to start lowering that bike rack. In the lowered position, you're gonna hear that beep just because you really shouldn't drive away with your bike rack lowered. This is just your mounting and dismounting position. So what we're gonna start doing and doing quick so we can stop the beeping is we're gonna press this lever right over here. That allows us to disengage our straps. And what I like is I can actually just swing this all the way down so it doesn't get caught up in our spokes when I'm ready to ramp our bike rack down. So one strap and two straps. You're then gonna use the second strap by doing the same thing. Press that lever and release the strap. Now we're gonna bring this a little bit to the side so I may have to tilt our bike rack away as I bring this lever out of the way. There we go. Now, notice how low we are to the ground. We can kind of just ramp our bike down just like that. You can also see that with our mast being so low too, no worries at all about the handles hitting that mast. So I'm gonna bring this back into the ready to go position, just so that it stops beeping and then we can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So we have our bike off and we can take a close look here at our trays. Notice how you can just move your bikes back and forth on these trays. You do have a maximum wheelbase of 48 inches right over here. We have these straps that allow you to engage or I guess tighten down the wheels and this also has a ratchet on the end just to get a better fit. If you do have fat bike tires though, note that the maximum tire width that this can carry is up to three inch wide tires. So working with our Tacoma, I'm gonna take a measurement for the length added to the back of our truck. So measuring right over here at the bumper to the end of the bike rack by the step, it sits at 34 and a half inches of length. If you already have a teeny tiny garage, that will be helpful because whenever you back into your garage or park into a tight spot, it's really nice to know the length added from the bikes as well as the bike rack behind you. 
Now let's measure for ground clearance. So ground clearance is going to be right over here to the ground. It sits at 16 and a half inches. So definitely a little bit more than your other SUVs or vans. But ground clearance is important whenever you go up those steep inclines like your driveways or your hills. It's helpful to have your bikes a bit up off the ground. So this uses a seven-way connection on your Toyota Tacoma. I know not all Tacomas have that seven-way connection, so just check in the back if you have it or not. And if you don't, you may have to have one installed in order to use this bike rack. So this fits into the two-inch hitch receiver of your truck. So we have a two-inch shank. You also have an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. That lock is also key to light to the lock that you can find to access your panel and turn your bike rack on, which is nice because then you only need to use one key to access both your bikes because the bike's um, frames have that lock core as well as your bike rack and the shank. This bike rack installs in different ways on different vehicles. You can check out those videos right here at eTrailer for Door County. I installed it on some other cars. A really cool car that I worked on was a Acura MDX because then you could just plug it in and lift the bike rack up into the hitch. In our case here on our truck, that did not work out. So let's take a look at that process. So on other vehicles, what I do before installing the bike rack is I would plug it into our seven way and then just have the bike rack lift up into the shank or into the hitch receiver. In our case here, since our seven way is all the way up here and our hitch receiver is all the way over here, that's not gonna work out. So we're just gonna have to lift it. So if you aren't able to lift your bike rack, you might have a friend help you out. Like I have John over here. He's just gonna lift the bike rack right into the hitch before we secure it right there. So this uses a 5 8 inch wrench and that tightens down your anti-rattle bolt. Once we have the shank tightened down, we're now ready to pop in our seven way plug right there. That's secured. You can see that our bike rack has now lit up. So we definitely have power and that's pretty much all there is to the install process. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack are that I do like how it lifts up and down. I see that being very useful for some people that can't lift heavy bikes. Like that electric bike we saw earlier, I can't use that with most bike racks unless someone else brings it up onto the bike rack for me, just because it's too heavy, even with the battery off. But in this case, I could just ramp it up very easily. Now, this does require a seven-way connection. If your Tacoma does not have that seven-way connection, you might still want a bike rack that makes it easy for you without having to install that. So an option for that would be the Yakma on-ramp. That works really well. It has a ramp as well that's easy to use. Now its mass sits at the center and is a bit higher up. So you're just gonna have to maneuver around that mass and find the best way to clamp it down to your bike. But once you figure that out, it's a really good bike rack too. So you do have your different pros, you have your different cons. I think this works great for if you really can't lift, but if it doesn't fit your vehicle, we do have those other options here at eTrailer that you can check out. We have a bunch of cool videos for those too. And that was a look here at our Sayers Door County 2 bike rack for your two electric bikes right here on our 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps. And we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.